Penang curry me, kind of like an overcomplicated instant noodle, or should I say souped up with that deep sort of shrimp paste curry sauce and soup with your instant noodle just boiling away, topped with loads of crazy ingredients. Here's how. It's Wok Wednesday, a wonderful day here in Covent Garden at School of Wok, and thanks to our sponsors for this video, Neff. It's complicated because there's lots of ingredients, but that's because we're making a fresh curry paste for our instant noodle soup. So I'm omitting that sort of packet or sachet of powder and replacing that with real flavour. And that real flavour starts with my curry paste. I've got four or five cloves of garlic, dried red chilies, soaked in hot water for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Bash your lemongrass, finely chop it. With your shallots, a nice simple trick, soak them into hot water first and then it's much easier to peel. We've got a handful of fresh red chilies, finely chopped. And then I've got a whole load of coriander seeds. You're talking probably about two to three tablespoons of coriander seeds. That's where a lot of this sort of fragrance from the paste is gonna come from. Along with some white peppercorns. I always leave the shrimp paste till last, mainly because it's really strong and it just means I can control where it's going. You need about a teaspoon of shrimp paste. Pound that well. And shrimp paste is one of those things, if you don't use it, you just won't know. It's really strong. You wanna get your paste to a point where it's, it's not, not too coarse, it's nice and smooth, and it looks sort of uniform as one paste. So we're on the hob. Let's talk about the hob whilst we're here. You know, Neff, these awesome induction hobs here, and when I switch it on, it goes on to, I'm putting this onto medium heat and it'll get to heat very, very quickly with induction. If you're not used to induction, you kind of might, won't, you probably won't know that if you lift it off, it switches off and if you put it back down, it switches back on. Another nice little thing is that it will only be hot on the hob that you switch on. So I can leave other things here sort of lying around and you'll be okay. Thank you, Neff. A good amount of oil because as I say, what I'm kind of doing in the same pot is cooking off that paste first to create a chili oil of sorts. Medium heat, I'm gonna cook all this paste up. So you wanna cook this for about six to eight minutes until the sort of sauce or that redness starts to deepen in color. Stir it constantly. So to finish off that sambal or my base chili oil, I'm gonna use some of the coconut milk that I will use to cook up the rest of the curry soup. And that's just to add a bit of liquid to this, not too much. Enough liquid so that I can sweeten that up with some of this rock sugar and caramelize my sauce or oil. Pinch of salt and then let that rock sugar melt through into that coconut chili paste. So after about two or three minutes, that rock sugar should have melted in. And so I'm gonna remove a good sort of 50 to 60% of this paste and then carry on to make my curry. I've left about three to four tablespoons of my chili paste. And I'm gonna pour this coconut milk into here. I've also got these dried shrimps here just to accentuate that shrimp paste. Chicken stock, straight in, and then bring that to a boil. Now, when I first decided to do this recipe, I thought, you know, maybe just do a simple curry noodle soup and keep it at that. But I, th I sort of felt like I would be shortchanging the true Penang curry me stores. And that is that it's the toppings. You have loads of toppings that you can kind of choose from to put on top of your noodles. And two of the core or really traditional ingredients are pig's blood and bloody cockles. Not something that we're so used to here in the West, but, and I haven't got both, but I've got some blood <laughs> on a plate and I've got some fresh clams. 
We've also got some prawns, which I'll cook through into the stock in a second. And we've got some tofu as well. And this is tofu or dalfu bok, which basically is um, crispy or fried tofu. When you slice it in half, you can see how kind of spongy it is, which is why it's perfect for a dish like this, because what you want is for it to soak up all the flavor of that curried soup. So just slice that tofu in half. The prawns I'm gonna leave as is, the cockles or the, the, my clams here I'm gonna cook up last minute. And then my actual sort of tofu-ish blood block. I'm just gonna cut cubes of this stuff out. And then the rest is all last minute cooking. So my stock's been going for a good sort of 20 minutes or so. Need some salt. So now we're gonna balance that out with a bit more sugar and that's the rock sugar that's gonna go into there. Let that melt through. Now it's just about adding these toppings in to cook through. So my prawns are gonna go in first, mainly because I want them to cook through before I peel them. Prawn heads and shells will add even more depth of flavor into the curry. My tofu wants to cook in for a good sort of five, 10 minutes so it can soak up the flavor of that sauce. And then let those two bubble away for a good three to five minutes before you pull those prawns out. But whilst they're going, I'm just gonna use my wok here to cook up these clams. High heat, clams go in, they'll cook within a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna fish my prawns out just so that they don't overcook. Create a bit of heat, why not? And then I'll take some of that sambal, about a spoon will do, flick those clams through. They'll start to open up within the next 30 seconds. It's a little bit faffy, but I'm gonna peel these prawns up. I'm gonna take this tofu out as well, just so that there's space for me to finish off. Instant noodles, the fastest part of this whole dish. Straight in, boil them away until they've lost their packet shape. My noodles coming out quite quickly because they will continue to cook with that hot stock when I pour it over the top. I mean, this is fun. This is fun cooking. The last thing I've got to blanch in there is my pig's blood. So they're going to go in for about 30 seconds to a minute to warm through, but you want to keep them in their cube shape, so not too long. So then the rest, whilst it's still hot, my tofu, my prawns, the pig's blood warms through well now on one side. Lastly, I've got some bean sprouts here, which I'm just gonna blanch again into the stock. Literally, sort of 10 to 20 seconds should do the job. You don't want your bean sprouts to wilt too much. And then, the lovely cockles. You wanna be able to see the instant noodles as well. And then just pull some of those noodles out for you all to see what's going on here. Your lovely curry stock. And in true Malaysian style, the extra chili sambal on top. How to soup up an instant noodle. I feel like I'm in a Penang hawker center, you know, I've got my metal soup spoon, my melamine chopsticks, and a bowl of noodles bigger than my head. I'm very excited by this. You wanna make sure you get a good amount of that soup in every bite. My God, gosh. Thank you, Nef, for your awesome hops. Thank you, Penang, for inventing this amazing dish. You wanna learn more soup noodles like this? Check out the videos on the channel and keep eating.